Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters, and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer, and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts, and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions, something that has made my life so much easier as a podcaster. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for Podcast app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started on your podcast today. Welcome to the ChatGPT Podcast. I'm your host, Jaden Schaefer. Each episode, we dive into the latest developments in the exciting field of artificial intelligence, exploring its applications and potential impacts on our daily lives. If you've been following the podcast for a while, you'll know that over the last six months, I've been working on a stealth AI startup. Of the hundreds of projects I've covered, this is the one that I believe has the greatest potential. So today I'm excited to announce AI Box. AI Box is a no-code AI app building platform paired with the App Store for AI that lets you monetize your AI tools. The platform lets you build apps by linking together AI models like ChatGPT, MidJourney, and Eleven Labs eventually we will integrate with software like Gmail, Trello, and Salesforce, so you can use AI to automate every function in your organization. To get notified when we launch and be one of the first to build on the platform, you can join the waitlist at AIbox.ai. The link is in the show notes. We are currently raising a seed round of funding. If you're an investor that is focused on disruptive tech, I'd love to tell you more about the platform. You can reach out to me at jaden at AIbox.ai. I'll leave that email in the show notes. In case you missed the news earlier this year, a startup called Adept raised $350 million. And in total, Adept has actually raised over $415 million. So today on the podcast, I'm going to be diving into what they're planning on using this money for, who their investors are, and what it is exactly that Adept does that makes it worth a staggering at least a billion dollars. According to Forbes, uh, they've reported the valuation of at least a billion dollars. So this latest round of $350 million was a Series B. It was led by General Catalyst, Spark Capital. They had participation from um, Addition, Greylock, Adlesian Ventures, and Microsoft and NVIDIA Workday Ventures, Katerina Fake, Frontiers Capital, PSP Growth, SV Angel, and A Capital. So they have a lot of big names in there. You're going to notice there's also a lot of uh, very big software players like Microsoft, NVIDIA, and Workday Ventures, um, Atlassian Ventures as well. Um, And then they have, you know, some of the the biggest uh, venture capital firms. So this is obviously a very high profile uh, raise, a very high profile company. Um, And so, yeah, this, this final kind of cash injection brings their total raise up to $415 million. Um, And what's interesting is when asked about, you know, what this was going to be used for, the CEO, who is David Luan, said um, that it's going to be put towards productization, model training, and headcount. He said, giant foundation models for language and for images have shown astonishing capabilities in the last few years. Adept is building on this momentum via a new kind of foundational model uh, that can perform actions on any software tool using natural language. So I think obviously the word, you know, foundation model is a little bit jargony, but essentially what their vision is at a high level is that they're planning to create what is referred to as what, well, what they're calling an AI teammate. Um, So essentially what it's doing is this is not necessarily just a model trained to generate text or something. Um, This is something that is trained to use a really wide variety of different software tools and APIs. So instead of kind of going into different ways to generate text or images like OpenAI, and they're more so just studying how people actually use computers and very specifically how they browse the web and how they navigate software. So the idea behind this is to help them train an AI model um, that they can use, you know, text instructions um, and turn that into sets of digital actions. So this a lot of this idea is uh, came out of a paper that was published back in February 2022 by scientists over at DeepMind, uh, Google's kind of, you know, AI company or AI backed, you know, company. So essentially the paper covers the fact that they had an AI watch how keyboards and, you know, mouse commands were being used by people that were given instructions. So, you know, they would tell a person to do something like go book a flight or go learn how to do X, Y, and Z. And they would follow what like their actual clicks um, were and what their like computer was doing. And essentially they're training an AI algorithm 
um, or they were talking about the fact that you could train an AI algorithm to replicate similar things. So the AI might not even know what it's necessarily doing, but you'd say, you know, when someone wants to do X, Y, and Z, these are the computer like clicks and the things they do. So it's a very interesting way of training an AI. Um, and we also see at DeepMind, the co-founder Mustafa, he teamed up with the LinkedIn co-founder Reid Hoffman to launch Inflection AI, which essentially aims to use AI to help humans work more efficiently with computers. And some people are saying in very similar ways. So just the fact that there is competition isn't necessarily scaring away investors. Obviously, we've seen, you know, they've raised quite a lot of money. Um, and I think that this is probably due to the fact that there is a lot of market opportunity. So there was actually a recent survey done back in March, I believe. Um, but essentially, they surveyed uh, a bunch of AI professionals by Intel owned CNVRG.io. And around, or I think, almost 50% of them said that they believed organizations investing in AI development is going to increase despite, you know, kind of the macroeconomic downturn climate that we are seeing at the time. So I think Adept, at the time of this raise, they were running a really lean team with just 25 employees, which is absolutely insane to have a billion dollar valuation with just 25 employees. Um, but I believe since they've done this raise, they have increased their headcount significantly. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where they're at right now because this was a few months ago. So it's also reportedly that they are experiencing really high levels of turnover, which is not a very good thing uh, for their company. And even that didn't scare away investors. But apparently they had uh, two of their co-founders, Ashish Vashwani and Nikki Parma. Um, they actually left and went and joined another startup, which I mean, I don't personally feel like that is a, a very good sign for Adept. Um, but once you've raised, you know, $400 million, especially when you only have 25 employees, um, I'm assuming that they're going to be able to have the capital to make something happen, whether they have to pivot or not. Um, they have the capital in the AI market. They have some smart people. And so I think that they'll be just fine. But um, apparently the, the two co-founders leaving didn't actually disrupt the product development too much, which I think is good, especially considering the, you know, the high profile investors they have. Um, so Adept's MVP is called Act One, and it can perform tasks like importing LinkedIn U URLs into recruiting software. Um, and according to Forbes, Act One essentially displays an overlay window on top of existing software like Google Chrome or Salesforce. So the prototype is ready for desktop, but will come to mobile in the near future. Um, and essentially just really the versatility of Act One uh, evidently attracted some of these really strategic investors like Microsoft, NVIDIA, Atlassian, and Workday um, because all of these big software companies obviously can see how um, this might someday benefit uh, their own software uh, and being able to integrate that into an AI assistant like this. And so I think that's kind of what sparked a lot of these really big companies to invest into it is they saw how this would help them. So General Catalyst's Deep, My, or Deep Nashir said that uh, Adept possesses a deep expertise to develop to develop a commercial product that pushes the generative AI frontier beyond text and image modularities into the practical realm of knowledge worker actions. Excitingly, Act One has the potential to lower the barrier to entry within the enterprise workforce and thus may yield greater inclusivity, uh, inclusive prosperity. So I think this is a really cool project. Um, obviously, they've raised a crazy amount of money and they're not without their, you know, difficulties as all uh, companies are. But I'm really excited to continue following Adept. I felt like this is definitely one you need to know about um, as it is one of the top five, I believe, AI companies that have raised the most amount of money um, looking at, you know, strictly the AI and not necessarily someone like NVIDIA or someone that is benefiting from this industry, but an actual AI company um, developing their own AI technology um, in a really big way. Um, so this is going to be a very interesting company to continue following into the future. If you are looking for an innovative and creative community of people using ChatGPT, you need to join our ChatGPT creators community. I'll drop a link in the description to this podcast. We'd love to see you there where we share tips and tricks of what is working in ChatGPT. It's a lot easier than a podcast as you can see screenshots, you can share and comment on things that are currently working. So if this sounds interesting to you, check out the link in the comment. We'd love to have you in the community. You've been listening to the ChatGPT podcast. Make sure to rate us wherever you listen to your podcasts and have a fantastic week.